morning, people of the press. Uh, as you know, uh, we played a uh, glaucoma-inducing game uh, yesterday against the Miami Fish, um, and we drowned. Um, disgusting game defensively, awful game on special teams. Uh, there was a lot of uh, contribution to the loss. Uh, it wasn't just the defense. Uh, it was poor playmaking. It was um, uh, bad calls. Uh, just awful decision making um, to the point where we put tight ends on defense who are slow and fat. Um, so I will be happy, not really happy, but um, I, I gotta do this. Um, to take some of your questions regarding yesterday's game. What? Hey, Coach, I'm just not absolutely or really uh, disappointing and kind of ironic uh, end for you, uh, for you guys. Um, what do you think the uh, purpose was of uh, that play? What do you, what do you think? We've listened talking about the, the last play. Um, uh, I don't really know what their purpose was of the play. Um, it was kind of like a um, kind of throw this at us and we'll see what they do, I guess. Um, but honestly, yeah, it was just kind of just thrown at us. We didn't know what to expect. Um, we, we thought it was going to be a Hail Mary because that's usually what happens in those kind of situations. I don't just know that from Madden. Uh, that's usually what happens. Uh, but uh, they kind of threw something at us that we weren't expecting, and um, uh, they executed it well, obviously. Um, and uh, the rest is history. So, next question. Jim, uh, yes. what, what happened at the end of the second half? I know that Tom just uh, looked like he blatantly just threw it away uh, instead of wanting to go for the three points. Uh, what, what happened there? Uh, you know, we were trying to kick a field goal at the end of the first half, and um, Tom thought we had a timeout, and uh, we didn't. So that's that's clearly uh, attention to detail error on him. Um, just a rookie mistake, honestly. Uh, poor play by him. Uh, and that's 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 a it was just a bad play, poor decision making. Next question. Gotcha. What do you think you're always losing in Miami? Do you think it's uh, the weather, or what, what do you think the causes of just the Constant losing here. You're now seven and ten against Miami. One and one and seven um, as far as playing them in Miami. So, what do you, what do you think the causes of that? Uh, beats me. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, the weather. It's the only thing I can come up with. I mean, being put in a situation where you're not used to, but. Uh, uh, well, being put in a situation that you're not used to. Um, but then again, we have to learn to adapt to it. We have to be able to uh, deal with any and all situations that are given to us, and that really makes us unbreakable. Uh, but clearly, yesterday, we were breakable. I mean, every year we're breakable uh, because we have to play in Miami. So... Uh, uh, I don't know why we always lose here. I don't know. Aside from my guess would just be the weather. So I, other than that, I, I don't know. Next question. Do you think that this is going to be a big mental toughness test uh, for the team defensively, or do you think it's not uh, anything related to that? No, it definitely is a mental, uh, mental toughness test. Um, we were that close. Uh, and how, how do we deal with that going forward? How do we toughen up? How do we physically toughen up? How do we mentally and emotionally and et cetera? How do we, how do we, uh, how do we deal with a play like that? How do we deal with that going forward? Do we just 
sit back and say, oh well, or do we say, I dare you to do it again. So, that's, that's the kind of attitude we have to go with, is, I dare you to do it again. So, <laughs> that'll test our, our character for sure. That's what uh, Rob said during a uh, press conference. He said it's going to test our character for sure, so it will. <laughs> And, you know, the defense, uh, ever since, I think, week, um, I think, five it was, hasn't allowed a 300-yard passer and then a 100-yard rusher uh, in nine games, and then five games for the 300-yard passing, just until this game, uh, allowing 30, uh, 34 points, and um, just an overall disappointing performance um, from the defense, again, quite frankly, where do you go from here? Uh, I don't. I don't really know the. Uh, um, I don't really know the uh, um, yardage stats from Ryan or, or Frank or Kenyon or any of those guys, Kenny or Devonte or, or uh, Mike or um, you know Danny or any of those guys. But uh, all I, I just care about the points, um, and clearly they scored more than we did. Um, doesn't matter if it was one, if it was twenty, if it was thirty. Doesn't matter. A loss is a loss. Um, as far as where do we go from here, we just keep grinding. We deal with a loss, we suck it up, and we deal with it. We we move on to the next week. We always look. We we look forward. Uh, we don't ever look back. We don't live in the past. Um, uh, we we always see what's in front of us, and that's the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. Next question. Um, obviously, Gronkowski and, uh, you know, Brady and Edelman, uh, Brady, except for that one little throw away at the end of the first half. A lot of those guys, Josh Gordon as well, all had good games. Um, so, what do you think the cause was for the loss? Uh, there was a couple things. It wasn't just the defense, but um, it was uh, it was like 90% the defense. But, um uh, another couple uh, contributions to this loss was the kicking game. Uh, Steven couldn't hit anything. I think he went, what, two for four or one for three in field goals, um, which is just not him. Um, he's been inconsistent the past couple of years, a uh, couple or a few years, but he's been, he hasn't been the same since 2015, so... Uh, uh, and then the defense hasn't been the same since week one of last year against KC, so we got to address that seriously. That's um, very quickly we have to figure out what we're going to do uh, regarding the defense because if we can't do anything you know, defensively, we're not going to be able to win any postseason games. So we got to figure out something. We got to we got to do something. We got to do it now regarding the defense. So, next question. Uh, Coach, knowing that you guys are now 12 and 4, or I'm sorry, 9 and 4, um, do you see yourselves going 12 and 4, or do you think you might be worse than that? You have another tough game coming up against Pittsburgh, but then again, they just lost to the Raiders, uh, who are now 2 and 10. So, um, what do you think? Well, it doesn't matter who they lose to. Uh, I know the Steelers. Uh, we know the Steelers well. Uh, we play them almost pretty much every year. We play them, uh, and that's that's not them. That's just one little mishap. Uh, they're seven and four and one, which is I think they could do a lot better than that. Um, and same thing with us. We should not be nine and four right now. We should be at least maybe eleven and one, maybe ten and two, but nine and four. It's just what, ten and three, eleven and uh, eleven and two, ten and three. We should not be nine and four. That's just not us. Um, um, we got Pittsburgh next week, and um, we're expecting a win, and nothing, nothing less than a win against Pittsburgh. <laughs> Next question. <clears throat> Defensively, um, what do you plan on working on uh, for the rest of the season and the postseason as well? Everything.
everything. Tackling, coverage, situational games, two-minute warning, you know, hustle, and, you know, just the fundamentals. The tackling, the coverage, the toughness, the situational game, um, the communication, the technique, uh, less penalties, uh, aggressiveness, just everything. Every little thing, all the fundamentals. And if we can master the fundamentals, then we, we just keep going. So, next question. Uh, so, so, just a lot of controversy um, from fans saying that Gronk shouldn't have been out there on the field. Um, just when you, when did you, what was your plan on putting Gronk out there on the field as a safety? Um, well, he shouldn't have been out there. Uh, now that I think about it, I looked at it a couple times, I, I thought about it, and um, he, he, he shouldn't have been out there on the field. Um, he's, uh, but the reason why we put him out there, I think, is because we were expecting a Hail Mary, and uh, that's when um, Ryan and Adam, who was a good coach, Adam Gase, uh, he just did something we weren't expecting, and uh, we violated the rule of expect the unexpected. So, that was a key contributor for them, is to give us something we weren't expecting, and that's another reason why they won. So, but they're well coached. Uh, they have a good staff, good good players, good defense, clearly. Uh, so, good offense, clearly. Um, so, it was just a disappointing loss for us. Last question, i got to get going, guys. Last question, Coach. Uh, just your defense. How do you, how do you deal with that, uh, that, that just awful play, and how do you go from there, and how does that really affect your mental toughness, and how, how honestly, all the fans have been asking this, and all the just football fanatics in general, how do you, how do you allow that to happen? Sixty-nine-yard play. Um, it's it's kind of like Trubisky scrambling in the in the Chicago game. Like, um, literally, you're right. You're not wrong. It's just aggravating for people to ask that. Quite frankly, um, I don't know. And we got to address it. And the shit's got to stop. So I don't know, but uh, hopefully we can bounce back. Um, next game and next season, um, but uh, that, that I can assure you, this the way this team has been playing this year is not uh, who we are in general. Um, I think uh, I think we're a lot better than this, and uh, uh, we can produce um, a lot more efficiently. Um, we can produce more offensively. We can prevent more defensively. Um, we just haven't shown it. And that's shameful. So, <clears throat> all right. Thank you, guys. On to Pittsburgh. <clears throat>